Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. Today I decided to uh, put Envelope of Shadows, Mark for Death to the test. Uh, I decided to make an actual viable build or as viable as I could make it for PvP. Well, now, Envelope of Shadows is a weird talent. Basically, it gives you common points for it. One co two common points for one common point to put in after six seconds. So every common point increases the duration by six seconds. So five common points is 30 seconds, so that's 10 common points back. I'm rolling with Mark for Death so I can get Mark for Death and Envelope of Shadows in the opener. And I'm going for like this bursty, bursty build. I'm going with Cold Blood for help for burst, Phantom Assassin, so I can have Shadow Dance for a little longer. Because uh, these bargains are a little busted, I don't know if it functions or not. I'm going for Night Stalker for the damage increase through my Shadow Dance. So the idea is to get the comp points generating and try to see how many uh, Shadow Dance builds that we can do. Like you Shadow Dance and then you kind of burst at your enemy, see just how much damage you can pull off. So that's basically the build. So you're supposed to get uh, Mark for Death and Shadows early on. So then you start generating common points and the idea is to kind of like generate a few common points and then attack your opponent out of nowhere and just destroy them for example this guy that didn't quite work it just deals as much damage to them as possible in a short moment and kind of just like reset and that's basically what this build is all about it's just a bunch of resets a bunch of just like short-term bursts and see if it functions at all maybe it might be a terrible build but this is as close to a functional build as I can make it. Uh, and that's really about all I can do is make as close to a functional build as possible. And this aligns just all over the place with the healers and everything. Ugh, that's so annoying to deal with. Send him again. Burst. Uh, I have Mark for Death coming up. Burst again. Alright, so I can get a couple of eviscerates back to back in a row. And I can make him a little bit stronger every time I'm able to uh, throw in together a Mark for Death. Uh, every time I'm able to combo them with cold blood. So I'm kind of just letting my comp points build. I'm using Velvet Shadows. I'm going to let him build back up again. I'm going to try bursting. Uh, now I won't be able to. But that normally would be an interesting way of going about it. I'm going to generate a few combo points. I'm going to wait until I have three. Stun. Here we go. Burst. This is as much damage as possible. Stun again. Burst. Now the damage numbers weren't all that high, but I guess they were a little bit higher when you're able to combo everything together. So I'm going to still play this out and see if this is possible. This is of course the weirdest way and the most, uh, I guess, obnoxious way. The most uh, un- un- Like you don't have to go through all these leaps and bounds just to deal decent damage and subtlety. But I'm just trying to do this more for a gimmick more than anything. Okay, I have some combo points coming up. I can get a third one up. Stun, rable. Okay, let's go. Stun again. Bam! Eviscerate! Oh, eviscerates! All the eviscerates! Please! Oh no! This is not good anymore! Okay, I can get Envelope and Shadows back. I'm gonna use Envelope and Shadows, get my calm points back to full. I'm just gonna kinda chill with this guy. Put another Night Blade on him. We got a setup coming in for our Horde boys. Gonna stun. Deal as much damage as possible. Burst! Ah, oh, here we go. That was probably the worst way of going about this in terms of burst on its own, but I guess it works out to a certain extent when I'm able to get a couple of eviscerates back to back. Oh lord, everybody's playing Fury these days, are you kidding me? Everybody's Fury now. <laughs> Their healing potential of Fury is ridiculous, so I can't blame them. Sap, sap, if you can sap you. Oh, sap, sap, nice. Okay, got a stun ready, coming up. Got a stun, double stun, oh. Double stun, back to back. Oh my goodness, I got him to half health and it was kind of exciting for a little bit. Cool, now he got all these cooldowns back up. So I can't really do much. I'm just gonna build up for another Envelope in Shadows. Oh, Rogue. Ish, ish, my friend, ish. Eep, sheep, sheep, sheep. Okay, uh, whoa. What are we doing right now? Oh, we got, we got so many healers here. Okay, I can line up for another one, dude. I can line up for another one. 100% easy. You guys ready? Here it comes. Here it comes. I think I'm gonna open up with. Actually, I'm gonna wait for a bit. Okay. Uh, this is it. This is it. This is it. okay. Ready? Are you guys ready? This is gonna be the most burst I've ever done in a long while. Stun. Shadow strike. Ah, oh, dang it, monks, dude. I actually had some going there too. That's the worst part. I actually had some burst happening for a bit. Stun again. Oh, double eviscerates, dude. Double eviscerates kind of feel cool. Put another Night Blade on the guy. Eviscerate. Ha! Oh, dang. Stop running from me, friend. Oh, here we go. Nice. That was interesting. 
it's kind of cool just to be able to uh, follow the setup of like eviscerate eviscerate and it's something that's just like most rogues are not going to be using because it's just not that good i'm just being honest with you guys as much as i would want it to be decent this is just not a not a not a good build uh to be to be honest um this is fun this is fun because it's a little bit different uh maybe i can catch you know, catch up for we oh this rogue is a this rogue is itching to get it dude this rogue is itching to get it Oh, no, no, no. I want to stun the rogue. Can I not stun him? Here we go. Ooh, was that 700k? I'm sorry? Hello? Was that a 700k eviscerate? Oh, wait. No, it wasn't. What was that? Eviscerate, eviscerate. 300k. 77. Never mind. I guess it was a shadow strike. I just got confused. I get bamboozled by my own abilities, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, when Misweaver monks are so peely, they're just like almost, you can't even tell if you're going against a Woodwalker these days. Fury Warriors and Misweavers, dude. That's that's the bane of my existence these days. Yeah, get up here, Rogue. You want to be up here, my man, trust me. Yes, no, monk, don't, don't you dare come up here. It's just between me and the Rogue. Huh. 400k, huh. Damage. 400k again. Oh, burst. Woo. Okay, I did have Berserk though, so I can't really say that was amazing. I can't really say that was all me, pure damage. No extra, no shenanigans. But <laughs> it was a lot of fun though. I will tell you that right now. All right, we got these noobs hanging out here. Double. Oh, that double though. Oh, that was so cool. That felt cool, man. Oh my goodness, I'm wild uh, berserking for a bit. I'm gonna keep adva take advantage of it fully. Okay, I need to use it into Enveloping Shadows. Every time I have too many common points that I can't really do anything, I just throw into Enveloping Shadows so I never waste them. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 come back here. <laughs> oh, if I can get Shadow Strike in there, dude. If I also want to open up with a cheap shot instead. I also want to open up with a cheap shot because this is so much damage right now. So much potential damage. Oh my god, that was so much damage in just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, Night Blade. Shadow Strike, keep, it, keep at it, keep at it with Shadow Strikes. Oh, I'm gonna have to use my other abilities. Okay, I have so many common points in there, dude. Next kidney. Something quick. Kidney? Nope, I think I'm out. I'm out of juice. I'm out of juice, boys and girls. Ah, oh, this sucks. Vanish. Cool, I got stealth. Oh, these healers are all coming in there. Oh, that's so annoying. All three of them are just hanging out together. Oh, so much fun, right? Okay, I want to generate the calm points. Okay, enveloping. Nice. Enveloping shadows. Here we go. I think I might have to use it on the priest, dude. <clears throat> Crap. I messed up. Uh, oh my, what the fuck? Holy shit, that's an upgrade. Are you kidding me? That's an actual upgrade. Alright, so this build was actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's not the best build I've ever had. It's just a back-to-back -back eviscerate kind of build. And it's kind of cool because you can like set up like micro bursts once a blue moon. Ah, uh, man. Okay, so I was trying to find ways to, like, envelop in shadows is such a bad talent. How can you use it for PvP? And I guess it's one of those ways where you can kind of, like, generate comp points ahead of time, but then you have to kind of play around. I'm, I got the hiccups right now. With Mark for Death. <laughs> I can't believe I got an upgrade. That is bananas. Are you kidding me? Haste for Stability. Like, I'll take it, dude. I have Haste Mastery. Haste for Stability is amazing for an outlaw. It's almost the reverse. And Socket. Oh, I'm, hold on. Am I 880 right now? Uh, uh, before I finish that off, actually, let me just go start running to a Chasma Vendor. But with um, <clears throat> the way I decided to roll with this build and the way I wanted to do is, for a while I wanted to do some kind of reverse build where Subtlety doesn't use uh, Shadow Dance. Is like, oh, okay, here's my buff where I can teleport all over the place. And my abilities, you know, uh, you know, I get more energy and uh, uh, that whole sustain damage. I want to do something more bursty where you kind of like clutch, you pop, your shadow dance and that's it get as much burst out as you can while you have it 
So the way I was wanted to do it originally is with these bargain, but I'm convinced that these bargain does not work for PvP. It does not adjust your tra uh, tooltip at all for the 20% damage increase. So I actually think these bargain does not give it 20% damage increase at all. That or it's bugged. But I feel like it doesn't give me any damage increase. So I decided to go with what works, and I know Night Stalker works because it gives me 12%. A 20% would have been better, but I'll take 12%, honestly. Because I know that one works. So I go with Phantom Assassin so I get a little bit longer duration for dance. I am going with Enveloped Shadow so my cheap shots and uh, Shadow Strikes are going to generate less combo points. But because I'm going Mark for Death, Enveloped Shadows, I'm starting to like open up with 5 and I'm generating combo points already. So as soon as I get 3 combo points, I can pop uh, Cold Blood and I can go just ham on somebody. I can cheap shot them with Cold Blood damage, Eviscerate, then go into Shadow Strike, Shadow Strike, I'll get an extra combo point, cheap shot, Eviscerate. Shadow Strike, Cheap Shot, Extra Calm Point, Eviscerate maybe. It's just like, do a lot of, as much damage as possible during a short window that I have. And that's kind of a fun playstyle, honestly. I don't know if this is something I'll continue playing in the future, but this is definitely a very fun playstyle. So, that's something for you guys to try out. It's nice Stalker. It's like for rogues that want like this kind of burst to build, right? It's a lot of preparation, and you have to adjust with playing and the shadows, but Mark for Death is kind of the carry of the whole, uh, of the build, I guess. Now, let's see if I actually have... Uh, 800, 880 item level.